Hey, hi all. In this video, we will be discussing about custom permissions uh, in Salesforce. Uh, so, what is custom permissions? Custom permissions is uh, nothing but uh, the permissions which we define as per our need, uh, as per our need in the Salesforce. That is known as custom permissions. And uh, where we can use this custom permissions. Uh, so we can use custom permissions in validation rules, flows, component visibility. So this component visibility is nothing but uh, the record pages uh, in which we can use, uh, which in which we can use the custom permissions to set the visibility of that particular component according to, uh, according to our requirement. Then the processes and the dynamic form configuration while uh, while config uh, while configuring uh, a dynamic form. In Salesforce and uh, we can use custom permissions uh, we can assign uh, custom permissions using uh, permission set and profile so we can assign or we can uh, we can assign permission sets in profile and permission set so the all users who are having that particular permission set they will be having that custom permissions as we are aware like uh, we cannot use permission set name in validation rules but we can use the custom permission name so indirectly uh, the custom permission will be associated with that permission set so the users who are having that particular permission set they will get access to that via permission uh, via validation rule or we can bypass uh, a particular set of users if they are working on a record by using that custom permissions in the permission set so uh, let's see an example of that yeah i have logged in into the org uh, my org so i will just look for custom permissions custom permissions these are custom permissions you will just click on new then we will name it like abc then automatically that name will be populated then uh, if we want that custom permission to be used in any connected app then we can uh, add that connected app name we will just save this record a custom permission will be created abc uh, custom permission is created now uh, we will look for permission sets as we all uh, as we all are aware like uh, we can we can assign custom permission to permission set or to a profile we cannot assign directly a custom permission to a user so we will just click on this uh, permission set I have recently created for the demo purpose uh, it's the this custom permission so it's a custom permission set we will just look for custom permissions and we will edit it and we will add the newly created custom permission in this so it is ABC so now this ABC is added just click on save so we have created first we have created a custom permission then we have uh, we have given access of that particular or we have added custom permission into an permission set we will go just move to my user that is features and then we will assign that permission set to issues and so this permission set is already assigned so eventually uh, if this permission set is assigned to me it means that that custom permission is also assigned to me because that custom permission is there in that particular permission set so i will just go move to account object for an example and we'll move to the permission uh, validation rules then i will click on this validation rule which i have created so i will just go to this validation rule as we know if we i want to write a val, uh, validation rule like if that particular user uh, or a logged in user has uh, this permission set one then uh, then this particular field should not be editable or should not be entered by that particular user so in that case i will just go to this i will just go to the uh, error Palette and I will just in look for the permissions because we don't have any permission set thing. We have permissions and there is a permission ABC which I have 
assigned in that particular permission set so i will just insert that so if the user is having this permission so he will he will not be able to enter a site so i will just uh, so i will just add this thing and uh, It's a home site. This home site and the record is new. So if we have a permission ABC, custom permission ABC, and if uh, the site is blank and then we are creating a new record, then this particular validation will fire. So we will just go to the accounts and then we will try to create a new account with name ABC. So it will showcase, please select industry. So this is another validation which we have. So I will select the validation thing then account site so we have to enter the name so it's like a b c so now i will click on save so there is another validation i will just click on yes the record will be saved so this is how we can implement or we can use this custom permission as custom permissions are uh, added to a particular profile or to a permission set so if we want to check if that particular user has that permission set uh, then only it should be able to edit that record so this uh, we cannot do uh, directly because uh, we don't have any option to look for the permission set name that's why this permission is added and as we all know that custom permission is added to permission set and permission set is uh, or permission set is, is given to a particular user so in the in that way this is related for other example if we if we look for this uh, particular record page we just go to this edit page and we can set the visibility according to that so i will just go to this visibility thing if that particular user is having uh, this okay so if this user has this custom permission abc if this user don't have this permission then only this field or this should not be visible but i have the access so it will be visible but now i am uh, i have uh, uh, this particular visibility so the this thing will not be visible to me so i will just go i will just go to the account page again um, so as you can see this particular portion has been removed the below portion i will again go to that page and i will now change it to i will change this will visibility to true as i have that particular permit uh, custom permission so it should be now visible to me the portion so i will just go to uh, and I will just refresh the page. So as you can see, now this particular component is visible to me. So in this way, we can use custom permission to provide access or, and uh, we can use this in Apex also. Uh, in Apex, uh, there are two, uh, there are, uh, means there is a custom permission uh, object which we have to query and then we can check uh, if it has a custom permission if it has this particular custom permission then according to the business logic we can perform the actions thank you have a nice day